Hello everybody, welcome to Avowed Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fly a TARDIS in the Dalek mod. So basically, I'm going to be showing you how to fly an amazing TARDIS like this in the Dalek mod. So, first thing you want to know is, well, when you get TARDIS, you want to make a key, hold crouch and right click it so the key can be paired to your TARDIS so you can summon it whenever you are. Second thing you're going to want to know is some TARDISes don't come with all these, some of them just come with like none, maybe like a lever and a monitor is the only requirements you really have to have. So I have to add lots of these ones here. First of all, first thing you want to know is there's a monitor. So you walk in, you go over to this monitor, you can right click it, and now you can see this page. Now TARDIS status, that's basically just this coordinate travel where you can go through all these planets and just choose where you want to go. And and put the exact coordinates where you want to land and then you press save and then you can, when you press the lever then you can fly there. Chameleon circuit it basically means you can change whatever look your TARDIS has. Waypoints you can travel to any place that you have waypointed. So basically if you're where your TARDIS is, the, the exact position, wherever you are, whatever planet you are, if you press add and then name it and then press save then that will add a waypoint if you're on the waypoint section of course. Here, cloak means you go invisible. Hats don't really know. Hum is the hum that switch hum companions, where basically you can add a player their name and they can be your companion so they can open the TARDIS door with a key. They might even be able to fly it, I don't know, I haven't had a companion ever. You can choose the brightness of your interior, that's that's basically the thing here. Now, fuel. Fuel is um, very important. So if I go around the back, it's down here. Basically, how you get fuel is you get coal or charcoal, right? And then you put it. Where's the machine gone? There was a machine. Where's, where, where's my fuel machine? I need to have a fuel machine. Fuel machine! Where are you? Is it back here? No. It must be over here then. Basically. If you use charcoal or coal, but the best fuel is actually acid, which comes from Scaro, which you can go to Scaro once you put charcoal or coal to fuel up your fuel machine. I'm really trying to find my fuel machine right now. If I don't know where my fuel machine is, I won't be able to travel. Okay, let's just ignore the fuel problem right now. So, second thing you want to know is this flight lever. Left click it, and wherever planet and coordinates you select, you press save on the monitor, that's where you'll land. Flight panel. It basically means you go in third person of the TARDIS and fly around the world. I cannot do that because I'm on the Dalek World server, so they do not allow that, otherwise, the lag would be too great. Now, door control. That basically means open and closing the doors. There, are, there, are, there, is, another compa there, there is another control like this, which is called door lock. It's like literally this, but the other way around. That locks and unlocks the door. Now, this is a force field. If you click this, you'll put a force field around your TARDIS. So, whenever you're being attacked, anything long range. It will deflect it. Anything melee? No. Okay, over here, this is random coordinates. You um randomize the controls on me. You flick that, then you go anywhere, random. Doesn't matter where you are, random. This I think just repeats the, your last command. Never flight lever. Now this charges your sonic screwdriver. That this doesn't do anything. This is another flight lever that doesn't do anything. Uh does it? So that's actually the same thing as that lever up there, the door control. This is a player locator. Basically, you click this, put in a player's name, press locate. Th this is a uh, this is if you're on a server, of course. It doesn't really work if you're a single player because there's no other player. Um, then you click fly over there with a lever, and then you go where that player specifically is. Now this is a chameleon panel. Now you can get chameleon cartridges. Put that in there, and then that's how you get different versions of the tire. So like all these blacked out ones is because they don't have that chameleon cartridge. All the ones that aren't blacked out, that means I have the cleaning cartridge. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that is basically it to my knowledge. Okay, I found my fuel. <laughs> so this is a fuel canister thing. What you do is, you get charcoal, coal, you right click it and then that fuels up. If it's got all four bars of green, that means it's fully fueled. Now, if you get a bucket of acid, if you get a bucket of bleh, you get a bucket of acid, then that will fuel it up instantly, and to the top, I believe. Yeah, bucket of acid. I can't really see properly. Oh no, to toxic waste storage. You can get on Scaro. I've kind of got that marked on my map. 
um, so I can go that way quickly and just refill it up. So my fuel is now completely fueled up, and I can go anywhere in the galaxy that is in the Dalek mod. Yay! Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please subscribe or consider it. I don't have to. And please like the video, and please tell me if you want more videos like this. It's actually kind of hard because the reason why I have to keep on cutting it, you can see my, you know. Menu is because they kept on crashing me and I had to keep on restart my PC. So this was incredibly hard for me to make. That's why I was kind of rushing and all that kind of stuff. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Thank you. Good night.